government, academia, civil society and industry leaders converge at the CSIR, International Convention Centre in Pretoria, to deliberate on the progress of the national system of innovation as well as the challenges. And we are trying to uh, scrap also for CO2, oh. which is a new component. And the ESCOM plans? ESCOM has not engaged us yet. They haven't engaged yes, we've well. submitted. Over 200 attendees also explored ways for skills, technology and innovation to impact positively on the country's economy. And in line with this, the President announced an initiative that is aimed at exposing young bright minds to cutting-edge research. It therefore gives me a lot of pleasure to announce the establishment of the Presidential PhD Initiative through an initial one billion rand investment from the National Skills Fund. Now the aim of the first phase is to expose our country's brightest young minds to cutting edge thinking and research by negotiating opportunities at world leading universities and research centers. Their studies will be linked to large-scale and established research programs, both in the public research facilities as well as in private uh, sector research facilities in various industries. The program will build critical skills in areas such as artificial intelligence research, advanced biotechnology, fuel cell development, batteries, storage, and other forms of storage, and next generation mining as well. The President further implored the private sector and international partners to assist in growing the investment for the Presidential PhD Initiative Fund to 5 billion rand by 2030. He also encouraged a greater collaboration, particularly in the area of research and development. We would want business to take the lead, as business always takes the lead when it comes to research and development spend. And at the South African Investment Conference earlier this year, Minister Nzimande presented the early results of the Innovation Fund Initiative where the state has partnered with business in supporting technology-based SMMEs to commercialize their products. So far through this initiative, we have succeeded in attracting six rand from the private sector for every one rand invested by the state. The hope is that the plenary on STI will come up with solutions that will address the triple challenges that South Africans face and ensure that science makes a difference in informing policies. Natasha Piri, SABC News, Pretoria.